It gives me great pleasure to introduce our leader, President Drew Faust, and the, the true foundation of HILT and what we're doing. Thank you, Erin. It's really a thrill for me to realize this is the fifth uh, time I've come before this group. I think the first time I had this horrible case of the flu, so every time I come up here, I sort of think about, things are lots better than they were. But Erin, I want to begin by thanking you and your team for all you've done over that period of time to embed health in the university and to make conversations about teaching so vibrant on this campus and to introduce so many terrific ideas and innovations that we've um, gathered from the work that all of you have done. So please join me with a special round of applause for Erin and her team. And even though they couldn't be here today, I do want to say a word of thanks uh, to Rita and Gus Hauser, who when we started talking about something like HILT got so excited and said they would want to support this more than anything they could imagine. And they've been excited watchers and participants in the ensuing years and are just delighted at what they've seen all of you accomplish together. And they're delighted, too, because it has been accomplished on behalf of the university and the university as a whole. And I want to emphasize that word university because one of the aims, one of the most important aims of this endeavor is to bring people together from across the university to share ideas and approaches to develop and communicate best practices, to take ways of teaching that may have been generated out of one particular field or professional school, and see how they might be of use to people in other areas of teaching and learning. So it's nothing short of extraordinary to see how many of you are here today and to imagine what you do when you aren't here and the kind of impact that has on our students and on the possibilities for learning at Harvard and beyond. It seems to me fitting that we are gathered at Harvard Law School for a conference about what you're calling interactivity. As I was making my way here this morning, I thought about Christopher Columbus Langdell, the dean of this school and the former dean of this school. Obviously, he's not around anymore. Uh, but the father of the now widespread uh, case method of teaching. When he was writing in 1871, he expressed, and I quote him, no definite opinion as to how far the design will be carried. So he seems to have had an intimation that the case method might be of use beyond his own law school teaching. And indeed, it has been. The method revolutionized law teaching, but it's also been embraced far beyond this part of our campus. Famously, it was carried over to Harvard Business School and has become a kind of signature aspect of teaching at Harvard Business School and was elaborated there. Uh, and it's also made its way to FAS and the Graduate School of Education and the Kennedy School and the Medical School. And earlier this week, I sat down with a new Divinity School student who was an individual I've known since he was three years old. And he's now starting a degree at the Divinity School. And he was describing to me a course he's taking on religious pluralism that is based on the case method. So from the law school, it has been a kind of contagion of innovation in teaching using the strengths and opportunities of the case method. So that seems to me a model of how we might think about some of the ideas that get generated here and how they can be shared and adapted and used in ways both different and the same from their original um, uses. Harvard has long generated teaching approaches and methods that we may now take for granted. But Hill challenges us to be self-conscious and purposeful about these opportunities to learn and improve and invent together. And that is what today is about. Interactivity means looking backward to remind ourselves of just how consequential such gatherings as this one can be, and also looking forward to imagine our successors and the ways they may look back to this moment and see germs in what you do here today of practices and opportunities that they can embrace for many years to come. 
So I just want to say thank you for taking the time to be part of this extraordinary project. Thank you for the ideas. I know you will contribute to the conversations today. And I wish you the very best for a successful conference and a good time learning from one another in the hours that follow. Thank you very much.